Welcome to 55 Active Adult Living, where you'll find everything you need to know to successfully achieve the dream of living the 55 Active Lifestyle like I have. Today, our topic is what isn't 55 plus living or what 55 plus living isn't. It's not for you if you are a couch potato and you don't like social activities. It's not for you if you're not looking for um, things to do with other people, um, to expand your horizons. If you just want to stay home and you don't want to use any of the amenities, the pools, the pickleball courts, whatever else your community has, then 55 plus living is probably not for you. Part of the expense of living in these communities is the fact that they have um, these amenities and activities for everyone to participate in. So if you're not going to use those, then it's probably not for you. They are also not assisted living. There are typically no levels of care whatsoever offered in a 55 plus community. Now you can always hire outside care to come into the community, but there is none provided by the community. They are not assisted living. If you're ready for assisted living, um, then 55 plus living is probably not for you because you're not going to be able to avail yourself of the activities and the amenities in the communities, and they are a part of the cost of living there both on a monthly basis and in the cost of your home. So that's what 55 plus living is and isn't, and you have to decide if it's for you. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, click below to subscribe. Be sure to visit 55activeadultliving.com for additional resources and information, including your guide to finding the perfect 55 plus community, blogs and videos, and more. See you next time.